All right, guys, here's the old stock Gen 5 stock can. We're swapping her out. We got the GGB quiet can for the turbo. We're going to put her on here, see how she does. So I'll just go over super quick what you need to take that off to put that on for tools. T25 drill or Torx bit on a drill. Spring pullers. I like vice grips. You never lose a spring. 17 mil to do the temp sensor. You got a 10 mil. I believe to take off the stock can and a 13 mil to loosen your turbo support bracket, I believe, right in here. And the kit that GGB sends you with the new can just to extend the length of the wire that goes to your temp well, sensor. Start getting into this by ripping the hood off and start ripping the can off, swapping the sensor over. Pretty straightforward. Almost forgot, we better fire this thing up with the stock can on before putting the quiet can on so we can have a little comparison here. We didn't really open right up because totally cold start and not warmed up, so still in warm up mode but you get the point pretty quiet with the stock can. Turbo support bolts tighten back up, the springs back on, temp sensor back on with the extender on and we're gonna fire it up and see how she sounds. warm-up mode so I warmed her up shut her down she's a little smoky in here from warming up but we'll give you guys a full sound bite what she sounds like now she's warmed up Well, she's on there, she's running good. No issues at all, she's warmed up. We'll put the hood back on and it was under no load, so we'll go take it out in the backyard and see how she sounds ripping around here. So, just going to throw the side panel on and as per the GGB exhaust instructions, in their little care package, it comes with some heat tape to tape the stock heat shielding together to reuse it and put it on. I haven't done that and I heat tape my panel and hoping that that is enough to keep it from melting. I'm a little curious about this side. I might reuse maybe this piece and just stuff her back in how she was, just to prevent anything from melting on this side. We'll see how she goes, but up to your guys' own judgment. So I decided to just use one of the stock heat shieldings, poke two holes in a zip tie, so she stays in there, and then all the heat tape on the inside of this panel, and I'll let you guys know if anything melts. Mm. 